Assalamu alaikum. Okay, so what I had to do for this channel is create an email list. The reason why is because due to the nature of the content of this channel, I don't know when the content is going to just mysteriously disappear or this channel will be shut down. The email mail list is just for the followers or the subs so that you know where these things are just in case this mysteriously happens. So just go down to the link in the description of the video, click join email list, Put your email address in there, and boom, you're good to go. That means that I can also send you other information that I cannot post here on YouTube, and you'll also know where the channel is and where the content is in the event that it does disappear. Okay, let's cook. Okay. So this dude named Scott Adams, white dude, 65 years old, he created this comic strip named Dilbert. It's called Dilbert. Um, he created it in the year of 1989, and uh, this is a very popular little cartoon that's been in newspapers everywhere. I can remember Dilbert being in the paper for as long as I could read. Like this, it, this Dilbert was just super popular. It was always in a newspaper. It's called Dilbert. It looked dumb, whatever. I mean, people say it's funny. I, I don't even remember it being funny. Like you know what I mean? But it's called Dilbert. Now. What happened is this dude, Scott Dilbert Adams, he done pissed a fraction of the white community off. They pissed off at this dude, Scott Dilbert Adams, for being vocal about how he would like to practice the religion of white supremacy. So he done pissed off his cousins and his people, you know, and people from the white community because of some things that he said. Now, they really pushed back on Dilbert. And let's make this clear. They pushed back on this dude, Scott Dilbert Adams, simply because white folks are upset. Not because us, not because black people are upset. You know what I mean? When black people push back, when we think for ourselves and we bring things up, nobody listens or respects anything that we have to say. So, you know, he's getting pushed back because he pissed people off from his community and they're, they're upset about the way that he wants to practice this religion of white supremacy. Now, let's make it clear. They're not upset that he's a white supremacist because they are too. The people who are pissed off at Dilbert, who are pushing back at Dilbert or Scott Dilbert Adams, they are white supremacists too. They just choose to practice it differently than him. And, and, and sometimes, you know, these people, they get in these big snowball fights. So this is what happened. It's something called the Rasmussen Poll. Never really heard of it myself. You know, I don't, you know what I mean? But uh, so they asked some black folks how they felt about this statement or this slogan that these white people have called, it's okay to be white. They asked some black people this, okay? Now, it's okay to be white is just some fragile slogan, slogan that some, some white American person came up with, you know, they like to come up with things, you know, whatever. I guess it means basically that with all the evil that we have done in American history, with all we stole, all the people we took advantage of, all the chattel slavery that we made money off of, all the patents that we stole from black people, all the laws that we created to uh, progress ourselves and oppress black Americans, it's still okay to be white. Now, I don't know how the slogan came about totally, but I would assume that some white youth started studying, you know, researching and doing homework, real authentic studying and found out that they pretty much have everything as a handout or from theft or by manipulation of black, black oppression. I, I, I'm thinking that's what happened. And so the kids probably started to get a little sad and depressed and they started questioning their parents. And they say, you know, we got to do something about this. So somebody came up with this. It's OK to be white slogan, you know. I guess to pep them up or whatever. I, I would guess that's why they did it. So back to this Rasmussen poll, they asked some black people. What, yeah, 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 I'm saying it. I think I'm saying it right. I don't even know. This poll. So anyway, they asked some black people, right, how they felt about this it's okay to be white slogan. And nearly half of the black people they asked said that they don't agree that this slogan is okay. They don't like this slogan. They, they disagree with it or whatever. So this guy, Scott Dilbert Adams, when he heard the results to this poll, he got pissed off. He got upset. He's angry at this. This is what he said. This is what he said, okay? If nearly half of blacks are not okay with white people, 
that's a hate group. I don't want to have anything to do with them. And I would say based on the current way things are going, the best advice I would give to white people is to get the hell away from black people because there's no fixing this. So this dude, Scott Dilbert Adams, he also blamed black people for not focusing on education. And he also said, I'm also really sick of seeing video after video of black Americans beating up non-black citizens. So clearly here, this guy, Scott Dilbert Adams, is, is a hardcore white supremacist. Uh, he has no respect for the narrative of black people in America. So that means that he has no respect for our humanity, common mentality in America. But it's just not the cool thing to say amongst, you know, people in their community. It's just, you're not the cool guy if you say things like that. You can think it, but you're not the cool guy to say it. You can act out on it. But you're not the cool white person to say it, okay? So after this dude, Scott Dilbert Adams, made these statements, the part of the white community that chooses to practice the religion of white supremacy different than him, they went absolutely nuts. So all these newspapers across the uh, United States that had his Dilbert comic strip in their papers, they immediately pulled all these papers out. You know, some of these big time papers like the Washington Post, USA Today, the L.A. Times, the Cleveland Plain Dealer. They all said, we're going to remove Dilbert. You know, when Dilbert, this dude, Scott Dilbert Adams, when he was asked how many papers still carried his strip, he said none. OK, now. These big time papers that I name here, like the L.A. Times and the Washington Post. They control the narrative. You know, they're the big wigs in the media. The USA Today, they're the big mig, the big wigs in the media. But these papers also have hundreds and hundreds of like junior varsity JV newspapers under them. And they pulled Dilbert as well. If Dilbert is in any of those papers, OK, they control the narrative. So this dude, Scott Dilbert Adams, he also said that most, most of his income will be gone by next week. That's a lie, people. This is a 65-year-old white man. He's not beat. He's got plenty of money, which is why he didn't care about, you know, what those other white people would say at this point. And he has supporters. He has big supporters. Actually, Elon Musk said he su supports what Scott Dilbert Adams said. You know, this dude, he'll have another comic strip somewhere else or whatever. He'll do his thing. He's white. So they say that this guy, Scott Dilbert Adams, kind of public, uh, uh, like tarnished his public image when he praised Donald Trump in the year 2016. And they said that since then he's been, you know, identifying Hicks himself with these extremist viewpoints. So this guy, Scott Dilbert Adams, he also claimed that his television show called Dilbert was canceled because he's white, adding that this was his third job that he lost because he's white. And he also at one point tweeted that he planned to self-identify as a black woman. Uh, he also, in his little Dilbert cartoon, he started to, you know, use his cartoon to push his white supremacist political beliefs. He came up with a new character named Dave, the black engineer, some other things, you know, eh, he also, you know, put some things about reparations and slavery and, you know, for slavery in his, you know, in his comic strips or whatever. So, you know, he's been, you know, expressing himself through his cartoons lately. You know, um, a lot of people are saying that they noticed that Dilbert went from funny and cool to being nasty and mean. Okay. So this, this guy, Scott Dilbert Adams here, forget what these people, I don't care what these people said, but this guy, Scott Dilbert Adams, he has the mindset of a lot of white American racist crybabies. Okay. He's still too, he, he, he's, he's just too stupid to realize that it's not black people who did anything to you. Gilbert, Scott, whatever your name is, it's your cousins who practice the religion of white supremacy different than you. Black people are just used as pawns. That's it. You know, and since this guy, Scott Dilbert Adams, he's on YouTube, you know, he, he's on YouTube. So let, let me get at this. Let me get at this, this ignorant pale maggot right here. Let me get, let me get at him. Dilbert, Scott Dilbert Adams, you need to go at your people, not us. You know, they're the ones who took your show off the air. They're the ones who removed your comic strip. It has nothing to do with black women. It has nothing to do with black men. Black women are used as pawns for your people's benefit. You're just on the wrong side. Get mad at them. You know, black athletes are used as pawns for your benefit, Scott Dilbert. 
Stop being jealous of these other white folks and go ahead and do something. Get at them. You make more for our people than we ever will. OK, you get more from our people's work than we ever will. So this guy, this, this Scott Dilbert Adams, is such a crybaby, so used to getting handouts and freebies, you know, that he gets upset at seeing a few black people get some crumbs. And his, his people are the beneficiaries of the black people who get these crumbs. That's why they only get crumbs, because you get the lion's share of these pawns that you use. Then this dude, this Scott Dilbert Adams, you want to talk about separating, OK? We already tried that. We had that. Ask your government what they did about that. Ask them what they did about that. We did well when it was like that. Actually, when it was like that, what you said separating, we had no problems at all. We had no problems with that. But you know what happened? Your cousins, your people who love sports, they love to, you know, practice the religion of white supremacy different than you. They realize that it's too much value in black people. So since they have the big stick, they systemically shut down our institutions through violence, legal policies, through integration, you know, education policies, you know, Department of Education, things like that. They did many things besides violence so they, they can create many Negro bots and Negro peons that we have running around here today that we got to beat up before we can even get to you, Dilbert. You know what I'm saying? Study your white history, Dilbert. Study, study your white history, Scott Dilbert Adams. Your issue is with your cousins, not us. Leave us alone. That's your snowball fight. That has nothing to do with us. While you at it, tell them to leave us alone too. You know what I'm saying? Because all the stuff that you're saying and you're coming up with with your dumb logic, it makes absolute no sense. You know, we already did all that. You know, we to make lemonade from lemons people for real. Everything has already been done. We already did all that with nothing. You know, it's already been done. So as far as white people, as you suggest, staying away from us, they want that, but they still want to control it. Ask them why they don't make it like that completely. These are your people, not us, Dilbert. You know what I'm saying? Because all the people who got rid of your comic strip and everything like that, they all white supremacists just like you, Dilbert. The Washington Post, the L.A. Times, USA Today, if you check their actions, who they hire, who their editors are, the amount of black writers and journalists they have, who they give opportunities to, it's obvious that they love the religion of white supremacy just like you. Just like you. They just have a different way of getting to the bottom line, Scott Dilbert Adams. And if they select a black person, that's just going to be, you know, some puppet Sean Bone Negro who's there, you know, somebody who will let you in their house before they will let me or somebody else that look like me. You know what I mean? But Scott Dilbert Adams, you're a 65 year old white man. Some of you, some of you white supremacists, dude, you just such crybabies, such crybaby welfare handout idiots. You can't even see the big picture. You're so used to getting everything free and doing nothing and being lazy and not working for nothing. You can't even see the big picture anymore. You know what I mean? Although like people like you, Scott Dilbert Adams, I don't like you or I don't respect you, but at least you had enough heart. You know, at least you had enough heart to speak your pale maggot mindset instead of being deceptive. More of your people need to be like you so that my people could see what's really going on because they got so many of us, you know, mixed up and deceived. I wish more of them would say what you say, but really be about it. And you'll see what happened. You know what I'm saying? But all this stuff you're talking about, Scott Dilbert Adams, it has nothing to do with black people. That's your fault. That's y'all. That's y'all big snowball fight. You know what I mean? I get it. You want complete separation. You know, you, you don't want this illusion of integration like like they have out here. But your people don't want that. Your people don't want that because you're too scared and you feel like you cannot survive without black people. Go talk to your people. They'll tell you. You love entertainment. You love rappers and sports. And you love making money from prisons. And you keep going about this by manufacturing more Negro bots and Negro pens in the school curriculums that you created, Dilbert, your cousins. Tell them to just leave us alone, but they won't. 
They're not willing to give up the money yet. All black destruction is to your benefit. And the root cause of our destruct, destruct, destruction is your people, Dilbert. Is your cousin, Scott Dilbert Adams or whatever. If you, he said that, you said that you wanted us to get educated. If you want us to get educated, your next comedy strip, it should be about telling your cousins, the other fraction of your community, to let us educate ourselves. And I mean the curriculum. Let us create our own curriculums. Leave us alone. There's a reason why they won't, Dilbert. You know what I'm saying? The people in your community know that if you left us alone in every way, we'll pass you. The thinkers in your community, they know this. The brainiacs, the strategic white thinkers, the people who study, they know the history. They know all this stuff. They also know that their cousin, Scott Dilbert Adams, is just some pale buffoon yapping his mouth because Although they are white supremacists like you, they don't agree with that because they're too scared. They know the big picture. You're not looking at the big picture here. So go talk to your people. That's a white community snowball fight. It's got nothing to do with us, Scott Dilbert Adams. You all deal with that. It has nothing to do with my people. That's your people. Since you're on YouTube, I heard, you know, you might come across some things with your name on it. Dilbert. Anyway, easy.